Good evening, all you beautiful sending souls out there going through a huge transition. Welcome to my channel, Divine Healing Tarot. We're going to go ahead and get a reading today for the sign of Virgo. And uh, yeah, I just think there's a lot of messages that need to be heard and, and felt. And uh, just take a deep breath. It's going to be okay. All right, we're going to get started with the prayer. Our dear gracious Heavenly Father, we are so grateful for all the blessings in which you bestow upon us each and every day. For the roof of our head, clothes on our back, and food in our stomach. Please, dear God, place a hedge of protection around us, me, and my beautiful collective at this time. Do not allow any evil, demonic, negative, or toxic energy to enter our space. Please cleanse all of our energy around us now at this time. And I humbly say these things in your blessed name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Cleanse these cards. Okay, let's get started. For my beautiful Virgos, what do we have today, Spurt? Please give me a reading for my beautiful Virgos. What do we have today, Spirit? <laughs> Speaking of, I gotta call my daughter. <clears throat> I'm sorry about my voice. Um, I've been doing a lot of readings lately and my voice is just like, my throat is kind of, yeah. So, sorry if you guys can't really hear me or understand me that well. I hope the subtitles are on. Okay, Virgo. Tribal Dancer, okay. And Vision Quest. All right, maybe we need to get those socks out and we need to get that broomstick and we need to just slide across our floor with the a nice song. <laughs> All right, for my Virgos, what do we have, Spirit? Oh, okay. What do we have, Spirit? Okay, Virgos, you're really in your moon energy right now, okay? Um, I would highly recommend that you look up your, uh, your moon sign, your sun sign, and your Venus water, tribal dancer. Also, um, I would highly recommend that you uh, detoxify and smudge um, your surroundings. Maybe get some sage or and um, or palmacento wood. Okay, palmacento wood is really good for cleansing as well. And I do have a feeling that you're very connected to your ancestors at this time, and um, they do see your struggles, they do hear your cries, and they hear your prayers. So, yeah, even if you don't pray and you're just really um, in touch with the universe and universal energy, I would highly recommend that you start talking to the stars. Talk to them stars, Virgo, because those stars are listening. Yes, they are. <laughs> All right, for Virgo, for my beautiful Virgo, what do we have, Spurt? What we have spurt from my beautiful Virgos. How can we get these Virgos out of this moon energy with this spirit keeper of the north? Okay. Feeling kind of cold and lost and in a dark space at this time with this vision quest because you got a lot of downloads coming in, Virgo. So that's why you're feeling this way. We have also a lot of... Um, planetary alignment that is affecting us at this time okay we are fully blown into the age of aquarius and we are going through a, Mer a mercury retrograde and mars is also in retrograde so um if like i said you guys really need to look up your charts or if you want to give me that information i can do that for you just uh follow me over on facebook uh send me an instant messenger request uh under gypsy healer all right what do we have for virgos let's see oh we have for virgo spurt come on spurt for virgos virgos and also look up your uh north node and ascending sign on here because you're really searching for purpose you feel like a failure and um, desperate changes needing to be taking place. Okay. We need to get more in our creative imagination and humor. 
We need to put those socks on, get out that broomstick and just slide across that floor, Virgos, because it's gonna be all right. <laughs> yeah, and if you guys could hear my chair in the background, it is my chair, I'm not farting, okay? <laughs> Or maybe I am. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Here, patience also. Patience is a virtue. You are going through a huge ascension right now at this time. And um, loneliness. I <clears throat> I know that I am never alone. This is very true. Very, very true, Virgo. You're never alone. Uh, also, um, you just you really need to get in touch with your your energy. Sit within your own energy. Um, even if you can't quiet your mind or have, um, you know, any, have like, if you can't seem to uh, quiet your mind and come to one with just a blank thought, um, really try the affirmations and the sleep mantras of, of clearing, um, energy while you sleep. Okay. But so before you go to sleep, um, I also hit me up because I could send you some mantras um, doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. There's a lot of things that you cannot know at this time, Virgo, because the universe is testing you. Okay. The universe is testing your intuition, testing what you've learned in the past and testing, are you going to use all of that now in the future? And how could you get through any circumstances that you're going through at this time, um, that you've gained the tools for in the past? You know, you have the tools to do this. This is what you've been preparing for your entire life. We start preparing and dying since birth. Okay. So just keep that in mind. All right. Let's get some tarot on this subject for my beautiful Virgos. Yeah. I'm also hearing uh, studying and learning will bring in lots of uh, happiness, wealth, and success and, and financial stability. So if you start focusing on self and doing some studying on yourself, which I really feel that you have been. Um, this also represents like um, internet, like um, Page of Swords represents like looking stuff up on the internet and also experiencing um, delayed news. Uh, patience is needed. It says um, planning is needed, uh, vigilance. Um, one who is calculating and unconcerned about the feelings of others which that could stem from, you know, staying, being to yourself at this time. There's nothing wrong with that. But just make sure that we don't do it too much on a toxic side where we're, um, we're kind of rude, but, you know, uh, communicators and um, scientists, math, 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 math magicians or something like that, uh, venters and travelers. Maybe Virgo just needs to go on a good travel trip, you know, stretch your legs for a minute. Okay, for my Virgos... Um, let's see. What's this vision quest? Let's clarify that for Virgos. Vision quest for Virgos. What is it that they need to do at this time? For Virgos. Okay. Please clear the, clear the energy from the last reading, spirit. Clear this energy. Holy spirit, activate. Holy spirit, activate. <laughs> Maybe you Virgos need to go on on TikTok and do that um, that TikTok Holy Spirit activate Holy. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I had to. Okay, um, <laughs> for my Virgos, what is it that we need to hear at this time? <laughs> Holy Spirit activate Holy Spirit activate. <laughs> Ooh, there's a decision that needs to be made. Okay, stalemate, uh, truce, um, uh, sitting on the fence, okay? There's something that we're, we're sitting on the fence about, and it could possibly be about moving, moving on to calmer waters, standing in our independence, okay? And dealing with earthly matters. Also, we cannot um, look for healing and satisfaction and um happiness in other people okay so uh what i what that means is being alone means like being alone not really flirting not trying to um socialize with a bunch of men 
for the women and a bunch of women for the men. Um, we need to really just stand in our own, be independent. This, this right here says, uh, let me see. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Okay. Um, these are the things that we need to change. Um, yeah, we need to stand in our independence at this time. That's where we're going to find success and financial stability. We're going to profit from being alone. We're going to also um, bring in prosperity and wealth by going within. Like uh, I told one of my friends on, on Facebook that, you know, if you write down on a piece of paper everything that's negative and then write down on a piece of paper everything that's positive and then combine the two together and find the happy medium of the cause and effect and the outcome, then your brain will automatically start healing itself once it realizes the problem. Because we are adaptable creatures. That's what our bodies do. We adapt to the mental uh, capability, the spiritual capability, and the physical capability of our surroundings. We will adapt. So right now, we need to make the choice to stop being a stalemate. Um, maybe we're sitting on the fence about a decision. Uh, we're at a crossroads. Uh, this is a very difficult decision to make, okay? There's some things in our life that are kind of toxic at this time that maybe we need to um, come to realization about and, and put down. And when I speak for this, I'm also speaking for myself. I I don't have Virgo in my chart, but I come from experience. You know, um, I got into a very bad accident at work and I was injured and the doctors want to give me prescription uh, Norcos. And I know already from my past um, on taking prescription pills that I got heavily addicted and um, I don't want to go back down that road. So I, instead of getting addicted to pills again and going through that horrible struggle of getting off opiates, I choose to just endure the pain and not, and take it takes off my life. It takes off my my habits and stuff around that I need to do. I need to be able to walk, but I'm in excruciating pain. So I smoke a lot of weed. And now it's like I'm finding that I'm smoking more weed than I did when I first started. And you know, is it helping with the pain? Eh, it's taking the edge off. But like on really cold days like this. I'm just like, I got my legs put up. I'm, I have to lay down, then I have to get up, then I have to turn. I can't sit still, I can't get comfortable. I can't even hardly sleep because I'm in so much pain. And it's like, I'm weighing out my options. Like, should I just take the pills or, or should I just deal with this pain? But you know, it's stuck in the middle of the Mojave Desert. It's like, I really don't have much of a choice than just to deal with the pain. <laughs> so. It's, it's a, it's a toss up and it's a really difficult, um, choices that we have to make. Um, there is sacrifice, uh, and then there is reward. So just know the Virgos that everything that you are sacrificing or going through at this time, it is going to be rewarded. Okay. Um, there is good news coming in, in earthly matters. <laughs> Maybe some of you Virgos out there also could be feeling very detached from, um, self at this time, very, just not grounded. Um, I'm, I'm also hearing get outside to like, see how this guy is outside and he's standing on the ground. You need to go outside and go barefoot and just really absorb the, the energy of the earth. And while you're like either laying on the ground or sitting on the ground, just close your eyes and imagine the North pole energy shooting through the earth, going straight down to the South Pole, but in the middle, it's coming straight through you. And it's just recycling and it's going around in this circle, you know, and it's just recycling. Earthly energy is just grounding you and pulling you into its vortex of, of pure healing earthly energy. And I, I honestly think that that will bring in uh, solid beginnings. <clears throat> It will also um, keep you very grounded and it will open up your mind so then you're able to learn the things that you need to learn about yourself and what you're going through. 